Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how you should sharpen and reduce noise in On One Photo Raw 2019 so you could go from this to this. All right, we're going to be working on this image of the gorilla, and I already did some adjusting in the develop module of On One Photo Raw 2019. You can see I did some tone and color adjustments, and I did lens corrections, and that's really all I've done so far. I mentioned numerous times in past videos that I prefer to sharpen and reduce noise of any image when I'm in On One Photo Raw 2019 in the effects module. The effects module will give you a lot more options to reduce noise and to sharpen your image very selectively in very selective and specific parts of the image. Whereas when you're in the develop module and you're sharpening and reducing noise, you're doing it to the entire image. So I'm going to jump over to the effects module and I strongly recommend that you reduce noise first and sharpen last. Uh, so the first thing you should do when you jump over to the effects module is reduce noise, then add any other filters you want to add, then sharpen your image at the end. Uh, that usually is the best workflow and will produce in the finest quality image. So I'm going to reduce noise first. I'm going to click on add filter and go down to noise reduction. And there is a considerable amount of noise. I'll turn this off for a second. If I zoom in, you can see that there's a considerable amount of noise uh, in the background specifically and a little bit on the gorilla's face. Uh, so I'm going to have to really be heavy handed with the noise reduction. So I'm going to come in and I'm really just kind of concerned about the background. I'm not so worried about the gorilla yet. So I'm going to come in and I could um, use strong right off the bat, try this strong preset. And even that is still, you could see there's still some noise there. So I'm just going to push luminance noise reduction up considerably. So it softened all that noise uh, pretty effectively. So I'll zoom back out. Now you'll notice though, when I did that, that it also softened the features on the gorilla's face. There's before and there's after. Now I don't want that. Now, if you were in the develop module, you really had no choice because it works everywhere. But with noise reduction in the effects module, we have some things we could do here. If you look down here, you could see there's an apply to drop down. So I could go down here and I could just apply it to the highlights, the midtones, and so on, as it's indicated here. So you might think, well, highlights would work pretty good. It would really only uh, affect the background. But you could see the background does have some sha have has some shadows in it. So that might not be the best choice. Uh, you also could pick the eyedropper and click on the color or tone that you want the noise reduction filter to be applied to. That would work well in most situations. But again, in this one, I don't think so because we do have multiple tones in that background. So I'm going to use a mask. And to use a mask, you would click right on the little mask icon right here next to noise reduction. And you'll see the mask turns on. Now I just want to apply this really to the background and to part of the gorilla. I really don't want the noise reduction on the gorilla's face. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to use a brush and by default it will have the brush active and we'll go in mode and we're going to paint it out. We're going to paint out the effect on the gorilla's face. And I'm going to make sure that opacity is at 100% for this. You may not want to use 100% opacity, um, but, you know, whatever works for you, for your image. And I'm going to use the bracket keys to size the brush. The left bracket key makes it smaller, right bracket key larger. And I'm simply going to paint out the effect on the gorilla's face. Now, if you need help to see exactly where you're painting, if you go down here, you'll see this little mask icon, this overlay you turn that on and you can see then in red, it's showing me where I'm painting. So we'll come in here and kind of paint it out on his, uh, her face, I should say. And I, you can see I spilled over over here. So I'll go up here and I'll go back to paint in mode. I'll get a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key and I'll take it out over there. So not affecting that background. 
I'll go back to paint out mode. And we'll come in. And that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to turn this mask overlay off. I'm going to go back down here to this little icon and click again. So I'll turn that off. And now we'll look at a before after. So there's before and there's after. Before, after. Now you could see it really didn't uh, affect the face of the gorilla at all. It's just affecting the background. And that's, again, why I prefer to do noise reduction in the effects module. We have more control. Now, there is a little bit of noise on the gorilla's face, isn't there? Well, why don't we deal with that separately from this noise reduction? Go to Add Filter and just add another noise reduction filter. That's the great thing, one of the many great things about the effects module. We could stack these. So I'm going to add another one, and this one is just for the gorilla's face. So I really don't care about anything else. Now I could go down to Apply To, and I could go to the shadows. And then I could just hopefully remove it from the shadows of the gorilla's face. Now, again, the gorilla's face really isn't just straight shadow. There are some really mid-tones and highlights on the gorilla's face, even though, of course, the gorilla's face is black and you would think it'd be mostly shadow. It isn't. There is some highlights there. So this drop-down might not be the best uh, choice. Again, I think the best choice might be the actual mask. So we're going to click on that. We're going to add a mask. Now this time we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to click where it says Lumen right here. This is the Luminosity mask. And as soon as I click that, it will apply the adjustment to the highlights and the brighter midtones. Well, that's the opposite of what we want, right? So let me show you that. I'll go down here again to this um, mask overlay and turn it on. You can see how it's got darker red, lighter red. Well, there's a better overlay we could use to better illustrate what I'm talking about. We'll go back up to the mask menu, down to view mode, and go from red overlay to grayscale. And when I do that, you'll see it's really black and white, right? So what this is showing us is that wherever it is brighter, that's where most of the noise reduction is being applied. And wherever it's darker, that's where less of the noise reduction is being applied. Well, we need the opposite of this. I want more of the noise reduction applied to the darker gorilla's face as opposed to the lighter background. So we'll simply go here and invert this mask. And when I click invert, you'll see that we get this negative view now. So wherever it's white, 100% of this noise reduction filter is being applied there. Where it's black, 0% of the noise reduction filter is being applied there. Where it's gray, we're getting a varying amount, so less than full or, or a little more than full, depending on whether it's more towards white or more towards black. So I'm going to turn this overlay uh, off. So I'm going to go back to uh, mask, um, show mask right here. I could click right there and turn that off. So now the noise reduction that I for this filter is being applied mainly to the darker parts of the image, which include the gorilla's face. So I could kind of better dial it in. I don't think we need that much luminance noise reduction. So I'm going to pull it down. And I don't think we need any color noise reduction. So I'm going to pull that down. So I'm just going to fine tune and dial it in. So here is before and after. And I doubt you could see this in the video. I could barely see it actually in the, um, you know, live here as I look at the screen. It's a very subtle, um, effect of reducing the noise on the gorilla's face. So there is before and after. So I'm satisfied with that. So I'm really happy that um, we reduce noise in the image. Now I want to sharpen the image. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on add filter and I'm going to go to sharpening. Now right off we could try some of the presets. Fixed focus is a little too much. I think screen looks pretty good, doesn't it? We could start with screen. Maybe I'll come down here and readjust it. Now, I really don't want to sharpen everything. I don't need to sharpen the out-of-focus parts of the back part of the gorilla or the background. I don't need to sharpen that. I just really need to sharpen the gorilla's face. So I could uh, just come in here and do another um, 
mask, just apply the mask to uh, the gorilla's face. But we already applied noise reduction to the gorilla's face down here, right? Remember? Why don't I just copy this mask? Then go back by clicking that copy. You can see it's rendering. Let it do its thing. Then we'll go up to sharpening. We'll open up the mask section of the sharpening filter. And we're going to click on paste. Now it removed the, most of the sharpening from the brighter areas. And it's just applying it to the darker areas. And if I go down here and turn on this again, we have that same mask. See? So it's just sharpening the darker areas of the gorilla. Now, I think that's pretty good. If I, I could come in here and fine tune it, maybe, um, maybe sharpening just maybe a little too much. I could pull that down, but I think that's pretty good. I think I'm just going to finish it off with a vignette. And I mentioned at the beginning that you should do sharpening at the very end. I mean, you could do the vignette at the very, very end. So we're going to put a vignette on here. Let's see what Big Softy looks at. That's everyone's favorite. I like that. But I'm going to center it a little differently. So I'm going to click on this little icon right here. And then I want it a little lower, I think. So I'm going to hold the Shift key in. And when I hold the Shift key in, I could drag it around. And I want it kind of more right there. And a little lower, right, like right there. So, there's before the vignette, after the vignette. And here is before and after. Before, after. So I hope this helps illustrate how if you reduce noise and sharpen in the effects module as opposed to the develop module, you have a lot more control of exactly what you're reducing noise in the air, you know, where you're reducing noise and where you're sharpening. And it will make for a much better overall effect when you're all done. So hopefully that helps and hopefully that made sense. We're going to be working with masks a lot more in um, starting with the next video actually. So look forward to that coming very soon.